Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your profile. So why don't we get started by opening up the program. We're going to click right here on this icon. It looks like a book with a world on top of it. And in just a moment, you'll see the first screen we will be prompted with is the product registration screen. Here it is. This is going to ask for your name, your email address, and your receipt or ticket number from when you registered the product. Let's see here. It looks like there is an update available. So we'll just wait a few moments while um, that update downloads. The next screen that we will be prompted with and you'll see is our antivirus software. Just checking it out, as, which is to be expected as this program does interact with the internet. And here it is. For such a powerful piece of software, it has a very user-friendly interface that's really easy to navigate. At the moment, we are on the Profile Generator tab. We're going to come up here to Settings. We'll select the Settings. And here's our Settings screen. You have the option of three different CAPTCHA solving, Death by CAPTCHA, DCAPTCHA, or Bypass CAPTCHA here and then there's the best spinner and also the ability to upload your own private proxies if you need them. So let's get some of this filled in. We're going to go to DCAPTURE which is the program we are using for the purposes of this video. The first thing we're going to need to locate is the service address which is right here and we're just going to copy and paste that back into the settings screen. Uh, the other thing that we're going to need is the port number, which is right here. So why don't we just copy that number and then we're going to go back over to the settings screen. Okay, I've already filled in the service address and then the port number and now you just need to put in your username and password. Now you only need to use one of these CAPTCHA solving programs. We just give you the option of three for whichever one you prefer. Now let's fill in our best spinner username and password. You don't have to use the best spinner, but you're really not going to get the most benefit out of the program if you don't use these options that are available to you and they integrate seamlessly into this program. This is also where you'd upload private proxies if you're using them. Okay. Next, we're going to go over to the Spin Tax Generator tab, which is right here. Okay. This is where we're going to generate a spun article that we will use in the comments section. So let's come over here to Word. I already have a, an example ready. I'm just going to copy this. This could be any, this could be Word, this could be Notepad. I'm just going to paste that into the text box right here. This is the text that we would like spun in the comment area, so we're going to go to comment and then we're going to go to spin article. All right, then just come down and hit the play button. This will only take a few moments. If you forget, if over here on the side of the screen it will give you brief instructions as far as spinning the article goes or if you're looking to generate spin tax. Here we are. We have the entire comment section already spun in proper spin tax format. We're going to go back over to the profile tab and as you can see here it's already populated that comment text box with the proper formatting and spun article. Okay, so let's go back over to the spin tax generator tab now and we're going to generate some spin tax for the keyword section. How to make a website, how to create a website, let's see, how to build a website, and how to design a website. And you put a new line for each keyword or sentence that you're looking to put into the spin tax. Let's hit play there. This will only take a moment to generate. It should, there it is. Okay, now we're going to go back over to the profile tab 
and it's already put it into the keyword section. Let's put in our URL and then we're going to enter our email address. Okay, and let's select the CAPTCHA program we're using. We're using DCAPTCHA. Like I said before, you can use any of these three. Hit play. This is going to check to make sure that our CAPTCHA settings are correct. And it's going to save our profile. Look, it sees that our license has been accepted, which is good. So now it's going to go on and save our profile. Nope. Please fill in the form. Okay, this is good. It prompted us. We forgot to fill in the profile name. I highly recommend here you use initials or date, something that's easily recognizable. We're going to want to click on the new profile overwrite there and hit play. This will just take a minute. It's just checking the license agreement again and saving the profile so that you can go back in and reuse this profile. Okay, if you can see here, it's going to show us where the profile was saved. All right. I hope that helps getting your profile set up.